Well, hey everyone, this is Shirish, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm back with another one of the amazing universities, University of California at Santa Barbara, or UCSB. Before I begin this video, I have something very interesting to share with you. Well, I have created an amazing profile assessment, and it is absolutely free to use. Just head to the link mentioned in the description box and get your profile evaluated for free. For this video, I will give you an in-depth view of the university and will decode the academic, social, and financial aspects of the university with my star ratings. And then I will offer you the most amazing tips and strategies to get into this university. Make sure to listen closely as I'll be sharing some most amazing strategies to get into this university. Let's hit it up for UCSB. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Well, University of California, Santa Barbara is a public land-grant research university in Santa Barbara, California. It was established in 1891, but became a part of University of California, then university system in 1944. This is the third oldest campus in the system of UCs after Berkeley and UCLA. UCSB is classified among R1 doctoral university, very high research activity, with around six Nobel Prize winners in staff and alumni network. And its alumni are involved in various prestigious scientific research across the country, being part of National Academy of Sciences, National Academy of Engineering, American Academy of Arts and Sciences. It is also part of the universities regarded as public ivy. So it's pretty amazing. The main campus is located in Santa Barbara. It is a county in Southern California. The campus location is suburban, so the opportunities of socialization are similar to small town as well. There are many things nature lovers and sea lovers can find here to do on weekends. UCSB campus is over 1000 acres in size. There is a mixture of new and old architecture and it is right at the seashore with two sides covered by the Pacific Ocean. In fact, during my last visit to the campus few years ago, I was mesmerized by the location of the campus. It is truly beautiful. Most popular majors at UCSB include biological sciences, psychology, economics, communication, marine biology, chemical engineering, physics, chemistry and other programs. Although I'm not a big fan of judging a university solely on the basis of the rankings, but UCSB is considered top 100 national recognized schools all across and globally as well. All right, now let's move on to our next section, talking about the right fit, starting with academic fit. <music> Academics at UCSB are collaborative but competitive as well. Each of UC Santa Barbara's five schools offer graduate, undergraduate majors and degrees. With more than 200 options altogether, you can discover any one to match your passion. UCSB's general education program features the usual distribution requirements and coursework in writing, non-Western cultures, quantitative relationships, and ethnicity. The accounting program is strong and the courses are geared towards taking and passing the CPA exam as well, so which is amazing. The College of Creative Studies offers an unstructured curriculum to about 400 self-starters ready for advanced and independent work in arts, math, or the sciences. The interdisciplinary global studies major combine language study with global history, culture, economics, and politics. UCSB is big on research as well. Many opportunities are available for postgraduates and even for undergrads to assist professors. And almost 55% of students get involved in undergraduate research. And almost all postgraduates have multiple opportunities in research if they wish to. Santa Barbara is the headquarters of UC Systems Education Abroad program, which sends students to any of the 120 host universities worldwide, yes, and 17% of UCSB students study abroad for either one or more semesters. The faculty at UCSB is great. There are six Nobel Prize winners in economics, chemistry, and physics. UCSB faculty includes one field medal, 39 members of National Academy of Sciences, 27 members of National Academy of Engineering, and members of American Academy of Arts and Sciences. So it's a very good faculty. The class size at UCSB is average to small. Almost 50% classes have less than 20 students. Many first year classes for undergrad can go over 100 and even more. But most of the postgraduate classes are small between 20 to 50 students. So keeping all this in mind, I would like to rate UCSB the five stars on academic difficulty and quality level. A five is the highest level. Well, after academic fit, let's move to social fit. UCSB students love to work and play, but that's not why most come to this coastal institute. They rave about their professors and the academic challenges they face, but they also know a good thing when they see it. Not everyone gets to spend college years on the beach and come away with a degree. So it's a great add-on. 
UCSB has over 500 student organization to join from. Students can also get involved in student government or on committees through associated students, which also runs campus resources like KCSB radio station and UCSB bike shop. UCSB has an environment where you will be challenged to expand your mind, push boundaries and take chances to experience things you have never tried before. Willpower is the word at UC Santa Barbara. On a beautiful day with the sound of waves crashing in the distance, it takes willpower to hang in there with pen, paper and a book. Fairly or not, Santa Barbara is also known as party animal of UC system. So there is a lot of things you can do. UCSB has about 26,000 plus students, about 23,000 as UG and a small number of PG and PhD. The university has about 88% in-state student and rest out of state, including 14% student as international students. University housing, which includes both dorms and privately run residence halls, is comfortable, well-maintained and much sought after. The on-campus housing is right in front of the beach. Yeah, they come fully furnished with high-speed internet, cable, telephone lines and a great atmosphere. It's truly a great place to live. Unfortunately, there is a waiting list to get into the dorms, even with the addition to the new Manzanita village student housing. Meals in the dorms are available to residents and non-residents alike and are, according to most students, more than simply edible. The food quality is good and a lot of on-campus and off-campus beverages options and food options are available. UCSB is big on sports as well. All the UCSB's varsity teams compete in the Division 1 sports. The most popular ones are soccer, water polo, baseball, volleyball, swimming and basketball. The never-ending rotation of intramurals is available on and off the beach and about a quarter of the students participate in that. Ultimate Frisbee is also quite popular as well as nationally competitive. Well, UCSB offers competitive academic and good social life. I will like to rate it 4 stars out of 5 on the quality of life at UCSB. But now let's look at the financial fit. UCSB falls in an affordable, expensive school category. The expenditure is about $45,000 to $55,000 in annual tuition expenses without scholarship. Housing and dining may fall about $15,000 to $18,000 for most. As far as financial aid is concerned, the university has a lot of scholarship options, but only for the domestic student. UCSB does not offer scholarships to international students at undergraduate level, but offers department-wise scholarships to graduate international students. So you must check your department for any scholarship related information or a third party scholarship options. Overall, I would like to give it four stars out of five on financial fit. Well, after exploring the fit, let's move on to most curious section on how to triple your chances of getting into UCSB with my special admission tips and strategies. The ideas I'm going to share now come from my decade-long experience working with students for career and college admission, helping them and personalizing their applications to these colleges. During the selection process, UCSB conducts a comprehensive review of every student to ensure each applicant is assessed thoroughly and fairly. The acceptance rate last year was about 46%, but a bit lower for international students. For UG applications specifically, UCSB follows a central UC system for admission and looks for a UC's 13 criteria valuation system that you can find on the university website as well. UCSB also requires few supplementary applications to its colleges that are evaluated along with UC's applications for the UGs. The College of Letter and Sciences, College of Engineering and Creative Studies need more information on top of UC application for the review. UCSB doesn't just look at academic accomplishments. They also look at your extracurricular activities and accomplishment in the light of opportunities available to you. Personal insight questions for undergraduates and SOP for PGs also hold a very significant role in deciding the application outcome. UCSB as all UCs, they don't need standardized tests for undergraduate, but graduates still have to take GRE or GMAT as per their course requirements. International students are required to take IELTS or TOEFL exam for English proficiency. For admission to UCSB, sending a good application is a key. For undergraduates, the UCs have one single portal with one single deadline for all 10 campuses. That is November of 30th every year. The result date is also same, March of 30th. No other deadline is available for undergraduate. As far as postgraduate and PhDs are concerned, all UC campuses including UCSB accept individual department-based application. Most of the courses have fall start only with few of them in spring intake as well. Deadline for PG is majorly around December or January, so plan accordingly. In the end, to conclude, if you're hardworking, enjoys nature, especially beaches, research-oriented, a well-rounded student, UCSB could be for you.
Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video and also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. Remember to complete your profile evaluation as discussed in the beginning of this video and get your personalized report for free. In fact, a lot of students and parents, they tell me that the report is so good they would have paid for it, but it is absolutely free for you. So yeah, it is one tool that will help you in your college admission journey. And I'm here to support you on this beautiful journey of college application. If you need any assistance, me and my team are here to help you. Thank you once again, and I'll be back with another amazing video for you. Till then, this is Shri signing off. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.